Hey everybody, it is Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2, and I just got done uploading the first episode of the Texas Gun Vault Christmas Tree for 2022, and man, did something kind of weird and creepy happen, and I kind of talk about it in the video a little bit. One of the ornaments that I got this year was from somebody named Joe. Now, I'm going to leave all the last names out of this. But anyway, Joe, I looked at the at the envelope when I was reading the name, and I was like, wait, hold up a second. I know that street because the reason I knew the street is, first off, I used to live over in, in the Fort Worth area, but the street is exactly the street in the neighborhood that my good friend Jack lives on. And you guys know that Jack lends a whole bunch of guns to the channel, including this one right here that I'm about to clean, this Ruger um, SP-101 revolver. And so I was like, okay, is that Jack? Did I, did I misread it? No, it was a completely different person. So I filmed the video, and as I said, I'm kind of doing an unscripted, but in my mind I'm thinking, okay, this has got to be Jack. He's in some type of alias or something. And so I get done with the video and the filming part, and so I, I get on my phone and I look up on Google Maps. And it's the same street, and it looks like it's the same house. I was like, Jack, it's got to be you. Okay, what, what's going on here? Because first off, Jack's last name and the last name of this person named Joe is the same initial. So they have the same initials. I'm like, this has got to be some alias, but why would Jack do that? Because in every other video, I just thank Jack. And so, also, this Joe sent me a, a um, ornament last year. In fact, it's on the Christmas tree. So I'm like, well, Joe, I mean, Jack wouldn't have an alias. He just gave me the gift. Why would he do that? Why would he do that two years in a row? So I, you know, messaged Jack. I said, Jack, come on. Is this you? Like, it, he swears it's not. And then I realized that the address was actually two doors down not Jack's. It just looks the same because they have the same um, kind of uh, interior, uh, sorry, exterior design of the house. And of course, I don't know when the pictures were taken, but he literally lives two doors down from Jack. So I, I have two subscribers on that street, and um, Jack says he doesn't really know the people that live there. So it's two unaffiliated people that aren't, you know, like best buds live on the same street two doors down and are both subscribers to my channel. How freaky is that? I mean, what is the chances of that? I just had to make a video on that. That's creepy. That's kind of creepy, man. The world is so small. So small. So anyway, Jack and Joe, if you're watching this, that's crazy. You guys live on the same street. Yeah, so I, I don't know if it's um, the, the uh, uh, YouTube uh, screen name of Joe in Fort Worth or Joe in FW. If that's you um, and you live on a street that begins with the letter V, Jack lives two doors down from you. Yeah, yeah, that is a small, small world. And I go there all the time and I'm going to be over there on Friday to pick up some magazines for a SIG uh, P220 in uh, 38 Super that I had some issues with at the range. But anyway, that's all I want to make a video about today is how small the world is because I think that's kind of creepy. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.